Today, you guys, we got some more Harry Chapman. When is Harry Chapman, you guys? 30,000 pounds of bananas. It's a folk rock song. It was on his 1974 album. It was based on an actual truck accident that occurred in Pennsylvania in 1965. Mm. Okay, we're going to read more about that, you guys, at the end and see what he brings to the table when it comes to 30,000 pounds of bananas. Now, it's probably going to be more deeper because it says it's based on a true story. So, you guys, let me know how you guys feel. I, I have not seen nobody react to this song yet. So, I'm going to first one. Harry Chapman, 30,000 uh, pounds of bananas. Let's go.
decapitated. Smeared for 400 yards along a hill that leads into Scranton, Pennsylvania. All those 30,000 pounds. 400 yards up the hill smeared oh, on his little banana. <laughs> Oh, the man who told me about it on the bus says it went up the hill out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. He shrugged his shoulders, he shook his head, and he said, and this is exactly what he said, boy, it sure must have been something. Just imagine 30,000 pounds of banana everywhere. Yes, there were 30,000 pounds of mashed banana. A banana, a banana, just banana, 30,000 pounds of banana. The outro. <laughs> the outro though. Oh my gosh. Harry is a storyteller. I feel like this was more of like a sing-along. It says this is a real story, but I feel like he made it into like a sing-along about bananas going crazy. And of course the truck driver man. Um being sleepy. He's a truck driver. He's not paying attention to signs and his brakes quit working and damn his body went everywhere. She look at bananas different now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it says um, this song portrays a fictional account of the incident played in the form of the country song, which each verse of the song gets faster to as Chime explains the live recording, building up intensity and excitement during the chorus. Yes, yeah, like I felt this is more like, I felt like this was more of a happy song coming from him, but it's supposed to be sad. I guess it's supposed to be both in one. <laughs> Dang. Mmm. It says the song is based on an actual truck accident that occurred in Scranton, Pennsylvania in 1965. Mmm. That's crazy. Damn. Definitely, definitely Harry is a um, storyteller man. A storyteller. Loving the music structure. Like I said, he made it happy and sad at the same time. I don't know how you did that. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about Harry. If you guys want to stay on the channel, smash the like button. You guys hit that red one be part of the family. Let's go.